But the ultimate conspiracy is recorded in Psalm 2. The rulers of the earth set themselves against the Lord, and the rulers take a counsel together against him and against his anointed, saying, Let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. The ultimate conspiracy, indulged in by world leaders according to this passage, is that they resist God, destroy his people, and overturn his very order for the world. Satan is, of course, the ultimate conspirator behind this, but he moves and works through human hands, and he is very much alive and working right now. And there is nothing new under the sun. From kings to lowly servants to respected religious leaders, the history of man is filled from beginning to end with plots, conspiracies, intrigue, lies, and deception. If you do not believe in the reality of present conspiracies, you have a much rosier view of human depravity than scripture does. Man is sinful. Man fights to get what he wants, even if it hurts others. Man will use lies and a deception to accomplish his ends. Man is in rebellion to God and plots against the people of God. No group of people or time in history is above or immune to this. To think that we have moved beyond a point in history in which world leaders conspire against their maker and humanity is terribly, terribly mistaken and anti-biblical. To assume that all bad guys carry pitchforks and spout hateful things is naive in the extreme. Satan is more clever than that and so too are his followers. He comes disguised as an angel of light. They come disguised as friends of humanity, pretending to be concerned about human welfare. They're here to help. Naivete is not listed as a Christian virtue. We are told to be wise as serpents and innocent as doves. Not everything government does is for the good of humanity. They often have ulterior motives and dark secrets. Blind trust is not commendable or Christian. The point is driven home when we consider that a very large number of political influencers and politicians of both the left and the right have now been indicted for child porn, pedophilia, and rape. All that is needed is some reading to compile a lengthy list of such names. Sickening. Many of the people caught in sex trafficking rings, child porn busts, and convicted of rape and pedophilia are teachers, doctors, nurses, religious leaders, politicians, all people in positions of public trust. If you think that our own government is above conspiracy, the government has already done this very thing. In one of these plots, our government conspired against its own citizens. They planned to kill some of us, then blame it on Cuba so we would be able to have a pretext to go to war. This was revealed in the declassified document Operation Northwoods, which I would strongly encourage you to download and read in its entirety. Now, what exactly am I getting at? Am I saying that we should believe every crazy rumor out there? Certainly not. I'm saying that the picture of man's nature we're presented with in scripture is not a pretty one, and people do not automatically deserve trust just because of their position of influence. According to the Bible, there is a great conspiracy against God and man, and the war is not always waged fairly in the open.